up guys blue apple here in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make your own dedicated private server so first thing you want to do is install the steam cmd this is so that we can install the uh, steam server files for atlas so now we want to make sure we can open this up with 7 simple winrar and from here on you want to go to your, your pc files your, your hard drive uh, and then you can right click and make a new folder I named the folder server, I think you should do the same as well. It will make it a lot easier for the directory commands that I'm going to show you guys later on. So once you have the Steam CMD here, you double click on it, it should start installing everything. So next thing what you want to do is right click on your desktop, make a new text document, name it anything you want, go onto it, and copy paste the command. I'm going to have this in the description below, so you can just copy paste that. and. You want to go to file save as make sure to select the file type as all files you can name it anything you want really i'm gonna name this atlas install dot bat you want to make sure to have a dot bat at the end this is extremely crucial and click save so here we have atlas install you want to double click on atlas install it's going to take five to ten minutes to install the actual atlas server files once you're done it will appear well, the CMD window will close. If you click on it again, you will have the, the update check like it is right now. So now for port forwarding, you want to come to your start menu, type in CMD. And in the command prompt, you want to type in ipconfig. And you want to type in your default gateway IP address onto your browser. This is so that we can actually do the port forwarding. You'll be using your IPv4 address for the actual port forwarding. So we're going to open Google Chrome, type in the gate, default gateway address. It will bring you up to something like this. Or it's going to bring you up to a menu where you have to log in. And the login details is usually at your router, like a sticker. So once you're in, you want to look for the settings here. You want to look for advanced settings. In particular, you want to look for security. So usually in security, there will be port forwarding. And these are the four port ranges you want to have. I'll give you guys an example. And here for the local IP, you want to make sure you have the IPv4 address as your local IP for port forwarding. And then we can have here. For the protocol, you want to select both for all the other ports as well and you can click on and now since i've already done this so there's no point of me adding the role but trust me this will work so now again make a new document and copy paste this command i'm gonna have this in the description below and i will show you what this actually means this is the the, the server command or to start up the server pretty much um, and here you can have the server and admin password this is essentially the password for when you're in game, you can enable cheats. You'll be using that password. Max players, I have at 10. Reserve players slots, you don't really need any, to be honest, you have at zero. And here's the uh, the ports that we just did the port forwarding on. And then the seamless IP is whatever your actual IP is. If you don't know, you go on Google, you type in my IP. And the first thing come up will probably be your IP. And you just post it here instead of this. And then same as the other document, you want to click file, save as, and select file type as all files. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it atlas server startup dot bat. Don't forget the bat at the end, dot bat, really crucial. And you click save. And this way, when you click on it, you actually start the server up. So now you need to install Redis. I believe this is to open the uh, Atlas server port. And once you're installing this, you want to make sure just keep everything at default. You want to direct the file into your server file on your hard drive. Next thing you want to download is the server grid editor. Uh, I'm going to be posting the link in the description below as well. Same with the uh, Redis. And you just click clone or download. 
and you can just download in the zip file. So now once you have downloaded the server grid editor, open it up and you want to extract it at the uh, your server location really. You want to go to server, steam apps, common, atlas dedicated server, atlas tools. And here is where you want to place and drag the file over. So inside the server grid editor file, you want to click on the editor. It's going to bring you up this island editor. You want to click load project. Click on the uh, server grid 2 times 2 And then here, you can drag the islands in. You want to make sure to have every single island in one block. And... And the rest you can just click delete, 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 because I don't really care. And then we'll go to project, click add. You can see the cells here, one, one. So make it a one by one. Right. And then once you're done with that, you can click control and left click onto the map. And here is where you will choose your, your server name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it potato, potato. And then you wanna put your actual IP address here. The one that you get from Google, just typing in my IP. And then the port here, you wanna change it to the one that we, uh, we've we used. All right, so I found that it was 57561. And then here, same again, 61. Your actual IP, all right? And then you click save. And here you want to click export, click all, click OK. You wait a little bit, it's going to say OK. And that's pretty much done for this part. And now if you come back to the server grid editor files, click on export, you will get these three new files. You want to select all of them, cut, and then you want to click on Atlas, dedicated server, and then go to shooter game. Anyway, paste these down. And in here, as you can see, I already have server grid, server grid, dot server only. You want to rename these and remove the two by two, right? And you do the same here, remove the two by two. By two. And then same again here, you remove the two by two. Since I already have the actual working ones, I don't want to do that right now. So this is what it will be look like. So now you can right click on the server grid and you can open with any sort of uh, notepad and I have a wordpad here, which works. And then from here you can see the information in the uh, for the server. We can now double check the things are correct. So up here, you wanna make sure to have the correct port here as well, just in case it doesn't work. So we have the 57561 here, 5761 and the world atlas password you want to have it the same um, for everything pretty much to make it easy and then scroll down here this will be your actual ip address same again your ip address should be here already if you did the thing that i told you to before the before using the export and the server name and then the correct ports should be here and that should be pretty much it so now once again you want to make sure to run atlas update or the installation .bat file. Make sure we have installed everything. If it says update, that means you already installed everything. And if it's out of date, it will start updating on its own. So we're done with that. And you can now actually start the server up. Keep in mind this process will take quite a while. Uh, up to 5 to maybe 20 minutes of waiting. So it takes a while for the server to actually start up. You gotta be patient. Uh, once it says the number of cores being used, that is when the server is actually ready. Okay, so this is the list of things that went through during the process of starting up the server. As you can see, uh, it said get host name failed, get host name get host by name failed. That is normal. That's nothing to worry about. Server whatever the server name is, has successfully started. And then it's gonna give you a timer and then numbers of cores being used and that's when it's really uh, actually started. So you wanna go to your library, 
open up Atlas and then we can start checking out the server. So the server name here is Blue Apple Server. So if we type in Blue Apple, it should come up. Uh, I've already tested it out, so we're gonna type in Blue Apple. Okay, so my server here showed up, but I noticed something. It is not the name that I put down. So if you go back to your, your server grid, um, the world friendly name, that was gonna be your uh, the, the server name. And then once you click onto it, will be the actual name that you put down for some reason. It's, it's a little bit strange, so that's gonna be, uh, you're gonna have a lot of issues trying to find your server if you think, you know, by typing in the name, it's gonna pop up first, but it's not going to. So you wanna make sure you change this here as well. Uh, the world friendly name to whatever you can type in. So it's Blue Apple for me and I can join it. Uh, let's take a look, type in the password. So if you cannot find your server on the server list, I can show you guys a method of doing it. So you want to bring up your browser. You want to type in steam colon forward dash twice connect dash again and then your IP address. So this is my IP address. So you want to have the IP address with the colon and then the port. So this is not the right port. So um, the port is so here as you can see the server is working. Atlas name Atlas Blue Apple. Blue Apple server. Okay, the player is one. Pretty low ping. So, and yep, so it's working. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and leaving a like because that really helps me out. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.